Greetings Smet community, it's uh, Roger back with another video this time and finally getting around to uh, Master's Hammer as you can see in the background um, uh, yeah, I promised this video back in probably November but then um, Industrial Rise production uh, announced uh, the reissue of the uh, demo vinyls that I'm gonna show to you and talk a little bit about and I'm gonna show my whole collection as well and just I'm not gonna to talk too much about this band because it's very unique and describing their music is pretty difficult I would say and they or originally started out in I think it was 87 and uh, went on to 95 and then had a long break and reformed in 2009 with the I think it was only the uh, guitarists uh, you know the main guy and the drummer maybe uh, and then they were active till 2020 um, I don't know if that was because of the pandemic that they shut down or they will reform now I don't know but um, I was uh, lucky enough to see them live back in I think it was 18 might have been 19 as well uh, at Beyond the Gates it was fucking awesome uh, gig uh, Tempani uh, my love for Tempani metal probably comes from this bad band so yeah without further ado I'm gonna adieu I do but uh, gonna start with the demos of course uh, this is the um, uh, you know 2013 release from Unisound their, their own label um, they have kind of been do-it-yourself uh, band for a long, long time most of the artwork is done by the main guy which I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name but uh, yeah this uh, consists of the ritual murder uh, e uh, demo 1987 there's a live uh, or finished from 88 and there's a live recording from uh, Svartslav or something uh, then we have the mass from 1989 the uh, fall of idol 1990 and the uh, uh, Yelimichi Okultista uh, demo uh, it has the same title as the album that came out in 92 as well but um, Get back to that later uh, killer uh, demo collection I think it is remastered uh, so uh, it sounds very good all the demos uh, so I'm very happy to have this original uh, kind of demo collection from Unisound but then uh, you know uh, Dr. Shell Rice uh, did uh, reissue the whole um, demo catalog I think they did the live album as well but I didn't pick up that uh, I don't I didn't feel the need to pick it up I'm just gonna show you you know slightly the posters of uh, old pictures all of these comes with a booklet um, with uh, a interview um, it is in English so um, uh, Frantisek Storm is the main guy and there's it's full of these evil black metal um, imagery as you can expect from um, this band they have never cared uh, about how they look or present themselves and i think that's one of the reasons why i think this band is awesome and uh, apart from the music of course but uh, always like the kind of uh, yeah just we don't care uh, attitude that they have shown uh, as I said this is the first um, uh, demo uh, if I were, yeah first demo uh, 88 uh, sounds very good it's very uh, kind of primitive um, I wouldn't say black metal because it's it's kind of more new wave of British heavy metal with uh, you know a drunken crow on vocals crow on vocals it sounds like a drunken crow in the earlier days but it's a cool uh, cool voice that he has and also kind of the music is, is it's very unique yeah, Master's Hammer is one of these uh, bands that there is nobody that sounds like them yeah I mean you could I mean the closest you get is probably Roots but even though they are from the same area they kind of don't say sound the same they're just uh, very weird then we came to let me check on the uh, demo this is finished yeah from 88 and did I say 88 this is uh, of course 87 my bad uh, 
professionals. Uh, yeah, finished. Uh, slightly progressive uh, kind of progression in their music, uh, how they they implement more stuff from for each uh, uh, you know release. Still very primitive and, and lo-fi, and uh, you gotta love the guy in uh, the um, King Diamond uh, painting, war paint, war paint, whatever you gonna call it. Uh, yeah. Awesome uh, poster that you can put on in your bedroom wall if you want to have some lovely guys. Just just look at these uh, fantastic photos that are uh, into this. Uh, yeah, that they have the, a bigger picture of the evil guys. And uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you see the guy on the. This side, he kind of have this uh, cat uh, motive in his face. Uh, yeah, but again, really good. Sounds very good. Um, very pleased to uh, get this on vinyl, actually, because yeah, it is uh, well worth having if you're a Master Hammer fan. If you're not a Master Hammer fan um, or never heard the band, go and check them out. Then we are going to 89 with the, the mass. Then you kind of, here you kind of get the full sound of how they become on their albums. Um, again, fantastic picture of the band. They look so evil. You got to posture it at least. So yeah, the, for, I haven't read the interviews yet, I will do so, but uh, um, I guess he just tells the story about the band, from what I can tell. Um, the lyrics are not here, I mean the only thing I would want to have on these uh, one was kind of the lineup, uh, who plays what in the band, but um, yeah. And we have the last uh, demo before the first album. You can see that they are trying to be a little bit more evil and the music is kind of blackened a little bit when you, you get to the first um, or the last demo. You can see the imagery also is kind of uh, goofy, uh, making a little bit fun of metal postures and uh, stuff like that but uh, yeah, it's just good fun to. I, I wish there were more pictures. Uh, of that era by them, but uh, this is kind of the first, uh, you know, without uh, fun pictures on the poster. Do you need all these posters? I like posters, I'm just, uh, yeah. But again, great, great demo. I mean, this is absolutely a banger. All these demos are fantastic. And this one, this one came out in 1990, and uh, then uh, the um, Ritual came out uh, in uh, 90. Uh, I think this was originally 91. But it doesn't matter really. Killer album. This is uh, at least my copy is 1994. I think it was self-released or something. Back in the day, this is out on Osmos. Um, just a basic with the lyrics on in um, the Czech language, which I don't speak. Yeah, this is uh, my favorite album by them. Um, I will get back to that on the next album. Uh, but just this nice, creepy crow, uh, drunken crow vocals. Uh, Tampani drums, uh, great riffs, very kind of, uh, I call this band occult because they are so different and uh, they don't follow the kind of set norms of what you should do when you play uh, a black metal. They are in the black metal category for some reason, but there really is just a Master Hammer category because they are so unique. 
Then in 1992, the, uh, they released first this uh, Yelimichi Occultista uh, demo. Uh, this contains of, uh, yes, eight songs here, but um, I think only six of them are on the, uh, the album itself that carries the same name uh, once again. This uh, big book that's um, way more pictures in this one. Um, yeah, they have grown some hair and look a little bit more metal on this one. Uh, I prefer this over the album actually uh, because it's more uh, equal to the first album. Um, it's more uh, simplistic because on the uh, on the um, album itself they um, yeah let me resleeve later. This is a kind of a copy uh, cut off uh, thing. So the kind of, uh, yeah, you know, promo cut as they call it. Um, this is the uh, first edition because they signed to Osmos around this time and they reissued the first album and and uh, this one. So, um, yeah, it's kind of annoying to have a cut out, but at least it's an original. So um, that is fun. Uh, just look at these evil, evil dudes in the field. Um, yeah. I kind of always had this imagery of be them being uh, goofy and, and not... I, I don't know if people took them really as serious as uh, some of us did, but a uh, really great... Another killer album, but this time it's way more um, kind of synths and, and... I wouldn't say samples, but it kind of have a little bit more, um, in a way, electronica uh, stuff on it. Which is uh, taking a little bit away from it. Th therefore, I kind of prefer the um, demo releases from it because it's kind of just more uh, basic sounding. Uh, some of these songs are kind of hard to recognize because they have added so much stuff on it. But uh, still a killer album. Um, it is my second favorite album by them. And I will get back to that. I will kind of rank them in a way. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you already know this band. Then they kind of didn't do anything more. Uh, disbanded. Uh, I might that they have probably done something, but uh, they released the album Slagri in, um, I think that was 95. I don't have that album because that album is total crap. It's just like weird, twisted with a lot of synths. There are some guitars here and there, but it's kind of just fucking psychopathic uh, synth. Uh, if you like synth wave electronic uh, music, uh, you can go check it out. But uh, for me, it sounds like totally shit, but uh, that's me. So in 2009, they returned with uh, Mantras, which was uh, a kind of a divided album, or uh, it starts off really good with uh, the uh, kind of continuation of the music. But uh, they do have a couple of like very heavy electronic uh, songs, influenced songs on there as well. That kind of makes this album a little bit uneven for me. Uh, it's it's not my favorite for sure, uh, but uh, it's still a great album and it's a lot of good songs. But uh, maybe I cut down three or four songs and it, this would be a killer album as well. But uh, a very good comeback and um, this is also a um, kind of a unisound. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, issue. Uh, they, they, as I said, created their own label, and this is the only cover that, as I, far as I know, that the uh, the main guy didn't do himself. So uh, this was another guy who made this cover. But uh, most, for the most part, the uh, you know Frantisek uh, Storm did all the artwork and all the photographies and uh, for the covers as well. So. Then uh, we step it up a little bit with Vrachet um, Convenamisto or something. And uh, this album came out in, uh, let me see if I remember. I think it was 2012. Uh, it doesn't say on the. Yeah, 2012. 
Uh, more back to the uh, earlier stuff uh, when it comes to songwriting. Uh, tone down the electronics a little bit so it's for me way better. Uh, I would rank this maybe as my fifth favorite album or maybe fourth favorite album. Um, but uh, yeah, great, great kind of return to form uh, in my opinion. Even though Mantras is a good album, this is, is better. And uh, yeah, just uh, cool. Uh, still have the Master Hammer uh, occult feeling. There's nothing changed really from the original formula. It's just kind of the, uh, you know, electronics are, you know, it's better electronics as well, you know, because he, he can do more stuff in a modern, a more modern uh, style. Uh, this is the best uh, of the kind of return albums. Um, this came out in 2014. Uh, Vagus Vetus, uh, even more uh, or less um, electronics on this album, way more back to the uh, ritual, uh, I feel, uh, in, in terms of songwriting and um, also the feel of the album. Uh, really, really good album. Uh, this is this is probably I might put this over uh, Occultista, but uh, but they are pretty even for me. But uh, this is uh, absolutely one of my favorites. It is a top three Master Hammer album for me. And if you haven't checked out the newer stuff, um, I will um, suggest uh, you check this out first uh, and and maybe go with this for a second. Then we have the two last albums, I can show them at the same. This is uh, Formule, uh, came out in 16. And uh, this is uh, Fascinator, that uh, came out in 18. Uh, so yeah, again artwork by um, Mr. Storm. Uh, this is kind of a very abstract. And this kind of shows the there's way more electronics, uh, electronica as I call it, synth work on this and also kind of the drum sound suffer a little bit from it. It is a little bit, kind of feel a little bit programmed drums uh, on this even though I, I'm pretty sure there's a live drummer on it. But uh, uh, it, it, they both sound very much the same and they are pretty equal in, in quality. I do prefer the... Um, I would rate the 16 album over uh, this one, but uh, that's just minor differences. But uh, still, uh, maybe like seven out of 10 albums, uh, but uh, not their best work, uh, but still, they have still kind of always kept the Master Hammer kind of ground or bass uh, in their music. Uh, you, you, you can't, you know mistake them for being another band and I think that's awesome I do really hope they will return uh, at some point with an album it would be fun but uh, hopefully less electronic uh, stuff on it or synth work or whatever you want to call it I think it's done on, on a synth but uh, it, it has that kind of electronic rhythm to a lot of it and that is a little bit disturbing for me but uh, that might be okay with you. Uh, I'm just weird when it comes to stuff like that. So um, yeah. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, just wanted to kind of yeah highlight a cool uh, band that's no longer active. Um, and uh, this is kind of into a crypt. I'm probably gonna call this video into a crypt uh, of a Roger uh, video. But uh, uh, yeah, just a great, great, unique uh, sounding band and. Um, I'm very pleased to have um, the uh, almost the whole collection by them, but uh, as I said, Sluggery is um, not for me at all, so uh, I live very well without that one. Uh, next up uh, is uh, probably going to be the stream with um, Cavernous Dave uh, on Sunday. I think it's 8pm English time, which will be 9 p.m. Uh, my time uh, together with the uh, altar of uh, madness or Matt from altar of madness and John from uh, rock and metal plus we are going to talk about relapse records and show or show and tell of about relapse uh, releases 
So I uh, hope you uh, will uh, show your faces in the comments section and um, or in the chat. So uh, until next time, enjoy your life. Be sure.